the campfires. We're not going there next time. We're going up to Jan's yeah. next time. Yeah. And this is Chinese. Had to get reorganized yes. again. And this is chunky vegetable soup. 44% more, uh, well, no, 44% less sodium. A healthier. Healthier soup. And 98% fat, 98 fat free. 50 cents. I wish I would have got more of these. How many cases? I bought one case. I, is that the one I bought one case of? Yes, yeah. that's one case. I bought a case of 12 of those. And I told me, don't worry, she can take some home with her. But for it says it makes a hearty meal. And these soups say it makes about two servings. Omi says she, she can eat it in one serving because she don't usually eat anything else with it. But it gives you, um, this one actually gives you potassium. So you that's twelve percent of your daily fiber in one serving, so you're getting fiber and potassium, no yes. fat. It's something you open up real quick and so, have a bit and have a fast meal because and Kenny and I eat soup a lot in my in the taste time for and my, lunch and my taste changes and now it's getting colder. So, yeah, but we're going to make a fast trip again sometime to South Carolina. Yes, this is another reason to go back and see Jan. That's going to be... No, Jan with the camp first. We're not going there next time. We're going up to Jan's yeah. next time. Yeah, And this is chunky grilled sirloin soup. Chunky. My husband's favorite of chunky soup. We get it in the cam... I guess it's Campbell's. Usually it's $1.79. 50 cents. And we got them for 50 cents. So I bought a case of two, which is 24 cans. I and again, I told Omi she can take it home with her. But one thing I like about the, uh, and Omi may or may not realize this. One thing I like about it, I have a hard time tasting items. So I would probably take this chunky grilled sirloin soup and vegetables sometimes and make rice. Or make noodles over rice, yes. over rice, over noodles, over even mashed potatoes. I might add a little bit more seasonings I think, to the soup itself. I think over rice will be really good. And you've got a complete meal with what it's saying, I believe. Let me see, there's a... Uh, of course, most soups have a little bit higher percentage of sodium. Sodium. It says 47% for a cup, so I don't think I'd be adding any added, you don't add have to salt. add salt no much. salt to anything if you're using to other soup. items yes seven percent cholesterol 14 percent potassium good source of potassium especially if you don't have potatoes or uh, potatoes. bananas or high in potassium if you're lacking in potassium that's a pretty good deal it's a good deal and 12 percent of your fibers for the day and 10 10 grams of protein, it doesn't tell you what percentage, though. So, it's a good deal. But for 50 cents, I can turn this into a lunch for me and Kenny for about peanut, a dollar. And probably a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Or Most of the time, Kenny's is peanut butter and banana. Banana. Mine's peanut butter and jelly. So, that's a healthy meal. So, I'm overestimating probably 50 50 cents for the sandwiches, 50 cents for the soup, and we've got a meal for a dollar. You cannot go out. No. Okay, what else you got on me? I know that's one of your favorite things to do. Original light cherry uh, pie filling, which I use sometimes, not as often as I used should. Used to use Comstock when a lot of times. This is Duncan Hines, and I know at the store it's about two seventy nine a can. How much did we pay? Ninety nine cents a can. Ninety nine cents. And it's over two dollars in the store. Yes, yeah, it's over two dollars, and we got a case of eight. So, so this is a good buy. So, on um, all the canned goods and all the stuff that we've shown so far, I mean, what are you most impressed about on the food items? I guess everything I'm impressed. 
the prizes, but you have to kind of go by to what you use. Like for me, I, I'm sorry for interrupting you guys, but I have no clothes laid out. Okay. Okay. I'll be there in a minute, hon. I regret not getting soup, but she can to my pants. I will come to my daughter's. <laughs> She won't eat all this food. I will she let, need, she I will, needs help. Uh, she needs my help. I mean, I need her help. But I do like soup, and I should have got some. But that's okay. Uh, I, I make it. That's the thing that I really, really, really treasure most out of all these items. It's something that I didn't even know they had because we only went through a third of the store, I guess, before everybody was just wore out. And, uh... We and it was like we went through all the food section, but they had other sections too, like housewares. They had outdoor sections. It's overwhelming when you it see it. It was really it. overwhelming. And then you for try us. to keep distance. You have your mask on, and the, you know how it is with a mask on. Once you start getting hot, and it's hard to breathe, and you, it's harder to breathe, and staying away from people. But that time, I guess that's what I kind of um with myself. I lacked in buying some things I should have, but. Mama and Jan and her family were outside and they couldn't figure out what's holding me up, I guess, because it took me too long to come out. Yeah, she didn't come out. Because I was already in checkout. But I asked the cashier, I, because I didn't look at the time, and one thing I've really been looking for is cannon supplies. And she said, honey, we just got a bunch of cannon lids in. She said 64 for... Eleven ninety nine, and I thought that's a great deal. It is. So she said, uh, "She's still ringing me up." As you can see, I had quite a bit of stuff. So I ran back there and I got a sixty four count for eleven ninety nine, and they're the one piece lids. And I know that people, some people love them, some people hate them. I heard that over in Europe. Mama probably don't know because she says she don't really remember them canning like they do here. Uh, that that's what they use is the one piece. I looked at them and it, they have a really, really good suction. Well, well I, I wouldn't know about the suction part. I guess you call it silicone. I'm not yeah, sure. They have to, yeah, they're sealed. Yeah. You can and, try it on jellies. And you might see one or two damaged ones in there, but for the price that we got them for. But you can see it has a very good. This doesn't, but this is still good. The inside is good. Yeah, so she thinks that one will work. It will help. It will work. And we may try it, but that's how good they were. And even this one with the little imperfection it has, I'm sure it's going to sell, and Omi sure is going to sell. Yeah, as long as it's sealed, yeah. So, but what I think, the whole, the matter of this deal, we was watching for my daughter, especially I was watching, and I told my friend, I said, I don't see her. She's not checking out again. Where is she? And that was really nice of the store, of the cashier, to tell my daughter. Yes. You don't find service like that. And then people, may, I don't know how many people were in line to be next, but she told her to get them. I thought that was awesome. And I told her, I said, it's not that they're a necessity for me right now, but I know people are having a hard time trying to find them. And I was thrilled that I could find that quantity for eleven ninety nine. So... <laughs> Of course, my running back to get them is not really running. It's just kind of a but the, almost fast walk. But those workers, cashiers, everybody, they, everybody was, was nice, sweet at really nice. Food. That's what yes. But anyway, my the rest of my story is I get back up to the counter. <laughs> yeah, let me finish my story again. <laughs> I'm supposed to be part of this video. What can I say? But you know, I forget stuff. <laughs> you got back to the counter. Thank you. <laughs> you know, if you interrupt me, I forget where I'm at. Hurry up. Back at the counter. You're back at the counter. Well, she rings it up. My total for everything you've seen, plus 64 lids, was, uh, I think, $99 and some change. Right under $100. So, I thought, everything I got for that price, you cannot do it, can you? No. I mean, for us to drive... 
from where we're at to go up there to save money wouldn't be feasible, would not be um, practical. But to get to go visit a dear friend of ours that we've not seen in a while and get a, and have a girls weekend and get to spend time with Jan, I, we didn't really have to go to any store. It was nice. But because we were there and we wanted to check it out and be part of what they have, I, I picked out things that I was lacking in in my pantry. Jan, in a video that I'm going to link in the description below, she did a haul. She's better than I am. She did it right after she got back. <laughs> this has been sitting in my floor for a week, at least. Since we've been back. Because she didn't come back right away, and I wanted her to be part of the haul. Well, she left her haul, of course, at her home. Uh, that was just a little haul. Not quite as bad. Not quite as bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, but anyway, I was thinking getting about... back to the story. Okay. You I said, lying. boy, that was a great... I told the cashier, that was really, really a great deal because I got, let me see, one, two, three, four, five cases of canned goods and all this other food and 64 candle lids for under $99. I thought that was great. Or right at $99. And she said, honey, if you really like them candle lids, you might ought to go back and get another set of them because she said they don't last. They had just gotten those in. And she said they will not last, probably the day. So, <laughs> here, I got my exercise in, just in Bargain Barn. Uh, Jan said, they really needed a bus to take us through. I think that's about true for that store that day for us. But while they're waiting on me outside to go eat, I'm running back and getting my second bag of cannon lids. So my total was under $115 for 64 cannon lids. And when we get done here, I'll show you how I'll present it to you, right? And then you can tell them what you're going to shop for first, I guess. What you're going to... Okay. Okay? Are you... You're about brain dead too tonight. <laughs> we were going to do she, this earlier. She got again. me overpowered. Yeah. But anyway. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Yes. I hope we didn't from, ramble too much. From mom and daughter. Did we ramble too much? No, we ramble all the time. <laughs> That's nothing new. <laughs> but we got the haul done. This haul? We actually, I actually got a very big haul done. I'm proud of myself because I miss a lot of my hauls because I keep procrastinating and then I get into it and I put it up. This I just left laying around well, until we got it done. Like with me, I, I think a little different because I'm by myself and you only can eat so much and I don't want to keep the food for 100 years. So I kind of... Yeah, you do, because you want to be around that <laughs> so, 100 years so, to eat it. So I kind of... I, I have a variety starting at home, too. She's yes. got her... she got a good pantry going I've on. got a good... I've got she's a variety. Just, she's like me. She's just lacking in a few um, certain areas. Which I'm, which I'm focusing on. I have quite a few vegetables and cranberry sauce. Yeah, we got cranberry sauce to go yet. Uh-huh. And all this I have in my pantry already. And we're fixing to can up some meat again. It's a... And I got some canned chicken. Yeah. I got... I have that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some tuna fish still in cans. Because I think I have not... And I got bags of beans and all this. And when she's here, she don't have to bring food because... I eat over here. She eats over here because I always cook enough. For I free. I always... For oh, free. She, <laughs> I eat for free. <laughs> Not quite for free, because she has put up with me, but... Uh, but I'm having a good time, but that, it's all good. good. We, yeah. So, we're going to end it here for now. I'll do a little short clip showing you what it looks like, say, if you're in a... I'm not in a pantry right now. I'm getting ready to redo a pantry, so we brought the shelving that I plan on using in it out here in my living room. It's okay. Mommy said, just leave it there. Uh, to, I, to me, it's okay. What does it matter? Don't think I'm going to leave it here. But for I don't, now it is here. But I'm going to show you um, how I would kind of set it up in the pantry just based on what I have right she now. She has a pantry. She can make a pantry. It's a little different. But 
I'm just happy. Anyway. One was not, one of these days, we're going to show you her very unique pantry. You can't say anything. We're going to show it to them. You got a unique pantry. I have a unique pantry. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Where? We're just going to, at your house. Ooh. I don't have, I think. Oh, the, the light bulb's fixed. Thank God. No, I just, it's new light bulbs. Well, I better get away from the I light bulb. Says, I think it's time to shut up, to women. Shut up. Bye, bye. Folks, me and Omi. We're still working on our lots. It, I think we're going to have to add even more in here. My house is just so dark with uh, the trees and uh, the kind of uh, walls I have. And I've never had to worry about it on video before. It's fine. But yeah. um, say it's fine, Omi. I think it's great. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to flip you around and we're going to show you how you can kind of stack it for your pantry. I'll step back a bit. Oh, I've myself. But my husband put this metal shelf up for me, and it's going to go in my new pantry area as soon as the holidays are over. We're not stressing over it now. I've been on the road so much. Like I said, wintertime's the time that you're going to be in a lot, so we got to get some stuff done. But as you can see, I put canned goods on the top. You'll see all the canned goods I got. And like I said, I've had so many canned goods stocked that I didn't necessarily buy a case of those. On this shelf is all the mustards and barbecue sauces and syrups and stuff that we want to try, don't we, Omi? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of ironic. I put the toothbrush where the honey and the syrup is. <laughs> Wait, so boys and girls, you taste after you eat sweets. Didn't yeah. even think of that at the time. It's okay. And then I put some more canned goods, juices, Marinades, my peppers and stuff on that one. The spaghetti peppers and grits. And then my cases of uh, food and my bags. But every bit of this came from the Bargain Foods in Peltzer, South Carolina. I hope you enjoyed our video. I hope when I go back to look on it that... You behaved yourself behind my back. Did you? No, I didn't. I'm you didn't? I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I'm hungry, Mama. So I guess we better go fix our food. <laughs> yes. You know what? Yes. I think we ought to fix our food. Yes, we need to eat. Folks, we'll talk to you later. And until next time, bye-bye.